Good morning, afternoon, evening. It is Alexis Arcade, and today is a beautiful day to not be outside, but instead to be here in the Arc Dev Kit to have a first look at a new creature scheduled for release in Update 253, set to drop on December the 21st. In this episode, we are going to be taking a look at the Tuso Teuthis. Tuso Dosis? Tuso? Well, you guys just have a look at it for yourself. It is a monstrous relative of the vampire squid. The Tuso Theotis bears a closer resemblance to giant squids, but is much more terrifying than its timid kid. They have powerful tentacles with hooked suckers, capable of drawing blood and keeping even a megalodon from escaping a horrible fate. A parrot-like beak hides in the center of the writhing mass, ripping flesh, shell, and bone into easy-to-swallow bits. They also possess the ability to spread an oily ink if it is in danger. They fear only a Mosasaurus, and they are a true terror of the deep. So, does that make you terrified of these guys? Because it makes me a little bit terrified of these guys. They are quite large, spanning up to 30 feet long. Let's go ahead and lay down next to this guy. And yeah, there you go. P quite like, oh, just, oh, it's so awesome. The animations that we have for them. This is the animation of it swimming forward. This is supposedly the eating animation, but we will see more of that when we get into the game. And then this is the old terrifying attack animation. Yeah, those those fins things, no, I'm not okay with those tentacles coming at me like that. Not a fan of it at all. Now let's go ahead and go to the dossier for some more information on this creature. The Tuso Thosis Vampire is a very aggressive water predator. Approximately 30 feet long, they are an absolute terror of the deep. Once it grabs its prey, it slowly crushes it into submission while using the talons on its tentacles to siphon and drain the victim of blood. They are a terrifying opponent for several reasons. First, its grab slowly renders its victim unconscious, so death isn't the first concern. Secondly, its vampiric blood drain instantly revitalizes even during combat. And finally, if the Tusothosis is losing a fight, it sprays a cloud of ink into the water around it, blinding its attacker to cover a sneaky escape. Now, once you have them tamed, one of the major benefits of taming Tusothosis is harvesting its ink. Unlike normal ink, their ink is very oily and can be refined into fuels such as gasoline. Between that and their distinctive combat abilities, it makes for an excellent aquatic tame despite, despite its slow swimming speed. So, these guys are going to be a very interesting addition to the game. I do have one problem with them being that when they're typically... Uh, items added that you have to refine it's simply easier to go and get the item rather than taking the time to refine that that is my own personal opinion though these guys are going to be awesome i think they're going to be really interesting when it comes to attacking in the water and i can't wait to go into combat Taming one of these guys, however, I feel is going to be really difficult. Um, I, I wonder if they're going to be your standard knockout and tame. I kind of feel like they will be. And I wonder what they eat. If it's going to be fish meat, prime fish meat, regular meat, who knows. But I'm really excited for these guys to come in the game. What do you think that they're going to be? How, how would you utilize one of these? Would you prefer to get these and harvest its oil? Or would you rather go get the oil? Because you'd also have to have a base near the water for them to be fully utilized, I think, anyway. Oh, and in case you're wondering why they're off the ground, it was to show you how massive they are because their tentacles were otherwise cutting through the floor. Now, they are rideable, but they do not have a saddle. And I believe that you just hold on to a tentacle and ride them. I think so. We'll see. We'll see because I'm not 100% sure. And please remember, this is not their final form. They don't even have color to them. So once they are released in the game, we'll just have to take a look at what they look like. So that is going to be it for our first quick look here on the Tuso Theosis. Tuso, just the giant squid. I know I jacked up the name, which is why I try to avoid saying it as much as I possibly could. But anyways, if you guys liked the video or found it informative, please leave a comment or a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. That way you know when I put out a new video. And I will talk to you later. Bye.